okay friends welcome back and in between tutorials i just went ahead and kind of stylized all these all these elements and these spans and all so next we are going to look that how to print out this list list array or any kind of array in case of polymer so basically to print out such a thing in polymer there's a way so first you will you need to make a template okay and then you we need to put in two properties so first property is like dom would be like dom bind dom repeat repeat and the next property would be like items and we'll just put in the ajax response out here okay and now in here we'll just try out with a small date and then with a small date and then we'll see that how to expand upon it so i'll just type in item dot date so i just type date this way because in the list property in the list array we see that date is given in this format date object has been referred to in as dt so we'll have to type in here dt also so let's see let's refresh and see what happens okay so nothing happened looks like we have missed something here and okay so actually what we missed here is that ajax dot response and here list this is actually to specify that ajax response and the list array has to be sent out here that's why have, we have to write the ajax response and then the list property in a similar fashion as we were writing the message and count and so since the list is also also like out here itself so we have to first write list and then as soon as we write list this array is passed on to this items here items object and since items would be like something like plural and to just singularize it we have to then write item and then we have to we can then start looping over the array so first we have written item dot dt and then let's see whether this works or not okay so this thing actually is working and not working actually what we forgot is that to put it inside a span tag so we will just cut it and let's see what happens okay so basically we are getting a very long string we'll just put in here some line breaks and a line break here too so this line break break is actually just to differentiate the different dates so we now see that everything is working fine and we'll go ahead in the next tutorial and just kind of make this whole weather app a lot better by adding in, adding in all these required properties and see and see what things we can do next so definitely subscribe to the channel and please like the tutorials thank you